brother said he got a quick move, man. I'm on that, I'm on that. When am I not, though? Low kind of heavy giving, no, I got a strong. I'm Ethan Jones, Nina Hoffman's mechanic. Um, I look after Nina's bike and anything that Nina needs. German. Yes. <laughs> Good, and dear. Dialed. These times only think you're seeking this. On time. I mean, it doesn't have That's much. doing a lot. <laughs> Nothing, no. <laughs> ah, fuck it. <laughs> Today is a beautiful day. It's not raining at the moment. Actually, it's Friday. Qualifying day. A few practice laps in the morning. Then we go fast. Yesterday <laughs> was a nightmare <laughs> in the time training. Um, but. It can only get better, so I'm positive. And what have you got to figure out today? What are your, what are your goals? Uh, stay on the bike, actually. Try to keep some momentum, especially in the lower rocks. Hit all the ruts in the upper part, um, and then we should be good. Need paper like a man fax. Man, I'm getting dirty money like a backpack. On the road where the cab's at. True man grew up with a sap Yeah, we had a conversation about when we were in Germany last week. Um, it's just easier for her now, like all the little jobs that she had to do previously when she was on her own, like, I don't know, go get a number board or sort out goggles here and there or sort out a warm-up stuff, you know, somebody's doing it for her now and it just takes the pressure off her, she can relax, she can think about what she's got to do and um, yeah, it's just, a, it's just the little things really that's much better. Um, she had everything else before, she had all the best parts and all the best bikes, so all that stuff was the same, but all the little bits now that she doesn't have to take care of, it's much easier for her. Best bits about my job, I get to do interviews with you whilst Loz is taking a piss behind the tree. Look at his little back up! <laughs> uh, no, best bit of the job, we get to hang out with all this crew um, and work with some of the best bikes in the market, so yeah, it's a dream. Uh, she'll have a little just chill, do some visualization, and then spin on the bike. As soon as you got the groove, then it's fine. And I got this, I think. So let's see. Yeah. And I'll go find some rocks, and she'll do some juggling, and then we'll do a little rock game where I drop the rocks, she catches the rocks, a bit of stretching, and then basically just keep it nice and calm, chill, just relax, and then. Um, finds the groove really, does another visualization before a run and then send it down the hill. True man grew up with a sabzak, respect if you bag that, brother find me with a bag gap, if it's heavy man I grab that, looking like penny jigging up that, even if she's quiet for a run, usually pretty good, quietly confident. So, fingers crossed. Might have run out of Wi Fi here. Oh, 8.4. This is a good spot to stand. Into first. Woo! 10 seconds up. Cool. Five minutes. 5.02. Not bad. See how some of the fast girls go down now. And then we're on. But yeah, so far so good. Held it together, smooth and fast. I survived, yeah, and this is the good thing. I'm in one piece. I um, I just crashed on a easy, kind of easy bit, and then I struggled down the whole woods. Like, couldn't get into the floor again. And as I came on the flat bit, I was like, come on. It's just half the track now. Get into it again, and then I rode, like, all the rocks kind of all right. Um, yeah, happy to be done, but so hard, like, so sticky and heavy mud. Um, yeah. Wow, wow, challenging. What's the game plan for tomorrow? The game plan for tomorrow is see how the weather will be. But actually, you can't do anything about the weather, so just stay in the ruts, stay loose, go fast. Don't know, stay on your bike actually. That's, that's the key for tomorrow. Probably summer. First ride, our first rider down got first, our second rider down got fifth, our third rider down. Top ten, eight. <laughs> and our poor rider down had a little crash in top woods, bike park turns, probably the easiest turns on track, but they were really hard packed and got so slippy and wheels just shot out from under him. So 
because it was on a flat section made it really physical for him so I'm pretty impressed that he got back up and finished top 20 still.